Hello, and welcome to the JDL Season 2 Playoffs Draw Show. The final matches of the season have concluded. All playoff slots have been locked. For those who have not been, who have not locked playoffs and will not be joining for the rest of the remainder of the season, thank you so much for playing. I hope you had a good time. However, now we must look towards playoffs. We have 12 players that will be cont contending in playoffs, and they will be now drawn into their playoffs bracket. We have the first, second, and third seeds from each group. So we have Lex, Bushy, Parker, and Foe, myself, Ben, Poke, and Guy, and Aurora, Zach, Andro, and Maggie. Now, the way that this function will work is we will draw each player. We'll start by drawing the third, the first seeds and then drawing the second seed and then the third seed. First seeds will automatically have a bye from round one of playoffs, skipping and then facing the round in round or not either the second or third seed, whoever wins their battle in round two. Uh, players, the second seeds from each group cannot be drawn into the same like part of the bracket as their first seed. If in the case of that happens, or a situation where drawing one incorrectly would cause for a conflict in that regard then the next available option will be taken. So, for example, if I am the last one who... Or if there's two left to be drawn, and say Lex is the last one, and it's me and Ben, then Ben will be drawn versus Lex, and I will be drawn against whoever is here. Now then, the first, first seed to be drawn in the red category will be... Bushy! <coughs> We have the green division. Bushy had a very strong season. Going a whopping, I believe, six and three? Six and three. I've got it pulled up here. I meant to have it pulled up. Uh, six and three plus 13, three. finishing uh, sixth overall. Now then, in the green division, we have Parker. Despite having a not an abysmal season last season, going 0 and 8, Parker stood out incredibly this season. With an amazing six and three record with a fifteen differential, Parker took down a lot of titans, including previous season winner Hannah. Up third, we have Lex. Our third place from last season, led by Zamazenta. Lex went on an incredible eight and one plus twenty nine record. Truly, something that could be admired. And lastly, we have Foe. After a strong regular season last season with going 7-1, Foe continues it this year, having gone 8-1 with a plus-24 record and second overall behind just Lex. Foe will be a, a strong contender for anyone who faces him in round 2. Now, moving on, the first second seed that we will draw is Poke! Having, despite having come back from a very long hiatus from Draft League, Poke started out rough going 0-2 but then bounced back to a 6-3 and three season, only losing against Julia in Week 6 otherwise. Beyond that, pretty clean overall. With a team led by Iron Valley and Garganackle, it was a pretty strong season after it found its footing and made a few swaps. Next up, we have myself. Uh, after a rocky season last season, going 4-4, four and four, I was able to bounce back this season with a 5-4 and four record, despite falling off in the later part of this, in the later section of the season. Now becomes a question of, will I be able to bounce back in playoffs? And lastly, that leaves us with Benito and Guy. And as I said, in cases where there would cause conflict, it'll be automatically assigned. So Guy will be the, Lex is, will be the first opponent in the yellow division. Also having an amazing, amazing performance in the Paldea division, Guy had another 8-1 record barely losing out that first seed by just a plus four differential to foe. It truly was a really strong season, and it's curious to see who he'll be facing off, because they will have a lot of ground to try and, try and cover. And lastly, that gives us Ben. Despite a rocky season overall, I felt at first, Ben surprisingly was able to find his footing. Going, three, going four and five... He had a bit of a better season than last season, but it really felt like he found his footing with his tier fours and fives, with them being rem with Pokemon like Vileplume being remarkably strong Pokemon for his team. Now, we move on to our third seeds. 
And our first third seed, facing off against Poke in round one, is Aurora. Subbing in for Aria, Aurora had a had a struggling season, ending up going two and seven with a minus twenty differential. It'll be very it's going to be a very, very, very tough matchup for her, but she might be she hopefully be able to pull it around. Next up, and facing myself, is Maggie. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Having a very strong season, Maggie ended six and three with a powerful rain team led by Mega Swamper. This team will be very strong for anyone who has to fight against it. This team can most notably notable strength was that it was also able to win a tiebreaker match against Nate to determine the last slot in playoffs. Our third is Andro. Andro's team had a very, had a very, very, very strong and mixed, but also mixed performance at times. This team had, was very notable for, despite having a snow core with Slow King against Titan, it never really found like so Titan was the carry of this team. However, mons like Landorus Incarnate, Mega Altaria, and Surfetch were vital for this team's many win wins. Andrew and Guy are good friends, but they all have to be going up against each other. This is a rematch from week two, and now we have a question of, after Andrew lost then, will he be able to learn his, from his mistakes to win this time? And lastly, our final third seed drawn is Zack. Last but least, baby. Despite a... Despite a rocky season, Zach was able to turn around when it mattered most, winning, I believe, yeah, winning two of his last three matches. He was able to secure that player sp playoff spot over both Jami and Ellie. And thus, that concludes our playoff straw show. Here are our matches. The doc will be updated shortly. And then playoffs has officially begun. Good luck, trainers.